this CST snippet has been created to help students who have never used Microsoft Office 2007 acquaint themselves with the software. By the end of this presentation, it is hoped that you will be able to launch Excel, Word or PowerPoint, use the Office button, use the ribbon, understand the interface, use the Quick Access toolbar and exit the program. When using the computers in the Learning Resources Centre, the Word, PowerPoint and Excel icons will be visible on the desktop. Double click the icon you wish to use to launch the program. If the icon is not on the desktop, click on the Start button, select All Programs, mouse over Microsoft Office, then click on either the Microsoft Office 2007 Excel, PowerPoint or Word icon. Depending on the icon you have chosen, a new blank document, spreadsheet or presentation will be displayed. All three programs have similar features. These are the features I will explain here. The Office button is located in the top left hand corner of the screen. This is where we click if we want to open, save or print a document. The title bar runs across the top of the screen. It displays the name of the current document and the name of the software we are using. As we haven't saved our document yet, a default name is used instead. On the right hand side of the title bar are the minimize, maximize and close icons. Use these to drop your document down into the Windows taskbar, maximize the window so that it takes up the whole space on your screen or close the current program. On the left hand side of the title bar is the quick access toolbar. This toolbar can be customized to show the tools that you use most frequently. The ribbon is the control center of Microsoft Office 2007. Click the tabs on the ribbon to access the tools. The tools have been categorized into groups. For example, this is the font group. The main set of tools is displayed on the Home tab. When you select another tab, the ribbon displays a different set of groups. Some groups have a dialog box launcher icon located in the bottom right hand corner. This shows that there are further tools available related to this group that are not visible on the ribbon. To add a tool to the Quick Access toolbar, firstly you need to find it on the ribbon. For example, to add the Symbol tool to the Quick Access toolbar, navigate to the Insert tab, right click on the Symbol tool, select the option Add to Quick Access toolbar. You will see the Symbol tool appear in the Quick Access toolbar. On the right hand side of the screen is the vertical scroll bar. Use it to move your document down and up. To move the scroll bar, move your mouse so the pointer is located over it. Click and hold down the button, then move your mouse towards you and away from you. The status bar is located at the bottom of the screen and displays information about the document you are in. For example, in Word, you can see how many words there are in your document. In PowerPoint, you can see which slide you have selected. And in Excel, you can see numerical information about the data you have selected. Also on the status bar are the view buttons and the zoom slider. The zoom slider allows us to increase or decrease the zoom ratio of the document. The view buttons enable us to see how our document would look in different layouts. To exit Microsoft Office, we can either click on the close icon in the title bar or click on the office button, then select exit PowerPoint from the menu.